Greetings, greetings. Welcome to another episode of The Weekly Awakening. My name is Tarak Uday, and today we're going to continue our journey into dreams. And the symbol that we're going to look at and dive deeper into today is water and what water represents, what you want to look for when water comes up as a symbol in your dream. So as I've said before, our dreams are messages to us from our inner selves. And what the dream is doing is reflecting back to you the way you are using your mind. Because essentially what you're doing when you're dreaming is you're going into your mind and you're perceiving what's there, what's around. How have I been using my mind the last day or two or three days? And so what water is going to represent in your dreams is your conscious life experiences. It is reflecting to you the quality of your conscious life experiences because water is essential to life. You know, when they go to look on another planet, the first thing they look for to see if there's signs of life is see if there's water because water is the basic need in life. And so one of the first things that I like to look at when this symbol comes up in a dream is the quality of the water because that will then show me the quality of my life experiences. You know, is it, is it you know, very clear and calm water that will reflect how I am having and experiencing very calm and relaxed uh, experiences in life? All of my experience, as I go through life, no matter what's going on, I'm, you know, I'm experiencing it in a calm, relaxed manner. Or is it turbulent and are there waves just crashing in and the water is, you know, wishing and washing all over the place? Then that will reflect how you are moving through life, you know, very chaotic and, and disruptive and, you know, nothing's very relaxed. You're always stressed and um, things are constantly seeming very turbulent in your life, you know, so you want to kind of look at is, is, is the water clear, you know, or is it dirty and murky? You want to just examine the different things that are going on with the water. And so when water comes up in your dreams, you want to look at the way that you approach life. You know, do you just let your experiences happen and then just either deem it, you know, good fortune or bad luck that these things occurred in your life? Or are you consciously choosing to create these experiences in your life and therefore creating the proper environment to cultivate more learning and fulfilling your purpose and things of that nature. And then you want to look at how is the water showing up in my dream? You know, because there's many different forms of water. It could be a swimming pool. You know, am I going swimming in a swimming pool? A swimming pool, the way I like to look at that is, is you know, a swimming pool is man-made. And so it's it's created for a purpose of, of pleasure, enjoying, enjoying yourself, you know, relaxing. And so, you know, a swimming pool hardly ever has big waves or anything. There's no real danger there. And so I often, when I dream of a swimming pool, can easily identify what it's pertaining to in something that I have consciously a life experience that I've consciously created and molded for my own pleasure and enjoyment uh, and 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 it's very relaxed it's a very relaxing approach to these life experiences you know or are you you know standing at a at an ocean you know and, and see the vast water you know the looking kind of reflecting over your whole life experiences and, and kind of how that's approached is there a storm far on the horizon is there is there a storm right there in 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 front of you you know is the rain is the water raining down upon you are you do you kind of feel like your life experiences are raining down upon you or it could be the rain is showing is showing a way that you're using your life experiences and and kind of purifying yourself with that you know or maybe maybe you're in the shower and you're using the water to wash away all the dirt and grit and soot that you've picked up throughout the day which will kind of reflect using your life experiences to kind of get rid of any negative thoughts or uh, unproductive emotions that you've kind of picked up from other people or the environments that you've placed yourself in. So like taking a shower might show up on days that you have a really great meditation or days that you sit down and really practice concentration or days that you consciously have chosen to get rid of negative thoughts and replace them with positive and productive thoughts. And one of maybe the most common dreams involving water that I've heard uh, from other people and, and students is drowning in water. You know, you're swimming and and you kind of feel like you're drowning in water you know and that's going to symbolize how you you feel like your life experiences are overwhelming you know and so the language of dreams is is in our very own language you know growing up i've often heard you know my my dad and their friends you know hey how have you been i'll oh, just trying to keep my head above water you know trying to just keep 
from allowing my life experiences to just overwhelm me and overtake me to where I feel like I'm just drowning in, in stress and problems and responsibilities. And so if that is showing up in your dream, one thing that I would suggest is to just stop and take a minute to look at all the things occurring in your life and learn how to respond to these things, to take them in, assess them, identify a possible solution or at least a first step that you can take and then respond to these things versus having them happen and then just reacting to it and just whatever the first base reaction is reacting to it or water could be showing up in your dreams where you know you're drinking water you're drinking a lot of water drinking a little water you know and you're just drinking water meaning you're taking your life experiences and you're t extracting the nutrients from that and and making it a part of yourself meaning you're looking at the different things happening in your life and you're extracting the things that you're able to learn about life or about yourself and use that learning to build upon yourself and to be and to make a part of yourself to grow and build and become a, a better and greater person and so really what it all boils down to is that when water shows up in a dream you just want to be able to assess and look at the quality of your life experiences that you are creating either consciously creating or unconsciously creating and then use that symbol to help you determine how to better consciously create life experiences that you desire to have and that your soul desires to have meaning meaning ones that are enjoyable to you and then also ones that will build help build permanent understandings within yourself help, ones that help build learning within yourself ones that help you learn about yourself and life and the creator and the universe you know building these conscious experiences building these life experiences consciously and so that will wrap up today's video. If you have any questions or thoughts, leave a comment, send an email. Uh, if you want any dreams interpreted, uh, feel free to shoot me an email. I'll be more than happy to help you understand and, and derive what this is reflecting to you so that you can better use your dreams as an opportunity to learn. And uh, subscribe below if you want to look at, check out more videos or just go to the channel, see some of the previous videos, look at the upcoming videos. And I leave you in peace.